hello guys today I'm gonna show you how to create a backup and restore of SQL server database in C button click first of all we take a new Windows form add uh, for taking this one, add new Windows form just write the form name backup db the name of the uh, backup db form add click on the add button then i just copy uh, to take this control it will take time so i uh, i just copy the control and paste you can uh, take it as drag and drop i just paste it this is the uh, two control one is the server name and uh, second is database name the server name and database name server name the database name uh, I just copied that's why it, uh, it displayed uh, database, database name I just keep blank because uh, in this server it may have many da database that's why now I just take a control by double clicking from the toolbox uh, the control I just uh, uh, give the text is the backup backup if I click the backup database then it will be uh, the backup file in my d drive now I just copy uh, uh, copy the code in the button click event just paste in the button click event now you can see the uh, it, it shows some error for using I just click and uh, uh, just uh, double click there then using it it will add it here is some error also The database our database name control is textbox2 that's why it displayed the error uh, uh, textbox2 is database name and textbox1 is server name and our file name will be the string dd dd day and month accumulative day and month and the database name database name and day month uh, we, uh, uh, along with it will make the backup file name Now see that uh, we will create a uh, folder in D drive, uh, the name database one, and our backup file will stored in this uh, in this folder. Now it's uh, uh, blank. Now debug, uh, just just debug, and uh, write the database. Uh, first of all, we will create a database and uh, create a table. Uh, our authentication is Windows authentication. That our server name is dot SQL Express and uh, uh, server, uh, authentication is Windows authentication. Server name is dot SQL Express. Just connect. Uh, I uh, preferred uh, preferred this code because it will take time, so that's why. Here you see the, the, the some error. I clear it. Uh, first of all. Uh, maybe I have uh, the same name database that's why I wanna show you from the beginning first drop database <laughs> it must be uh, selected you know uh, here's the already objective database name Mm, I bet, uh, <laughs> sorry I don't select I didn't select uh, the database name already select master that's why now we select my first DB what uh, we create I create uh, table name already created and we uh, insert two record only now see uh, what we inserted in this table you can we can see it now mm, select a star from the data, um, table name uh, see that uh, it's already uh, inserted two rows now we debug now we t uh, now we take backup For, uh, see the folder is the local disk d database one folder is still empty 
now we take the back of uh, the, uh, the, the, there is this is the server name dot sql express we will um, uh, put the uh, database name database name is our database name is my first db this is our database name i just uh, put the database name in this in this text box my first db uh, you see the folder name is still empty see that now i just click on the backup successfully completed backup and <laughs> you can see the uh, backup file already created in this database one folder I restore the database in button click by this backup file now I show you the restore database restore database portion uh, restore database <laughs> I'll take a new windows form for restore, for restore operation uh, write the form name restore db form sorry if he, it's zero error form add click on the add as usual uh, i just take uh, i just copy and paste the server name database name and do you we need to include more one text box here for location uh, location name i just copied and paste this is the text box three location for location and this is the button to uh, I just uh, I just take this button for open file dialog for displaying open file dialog this is the open file dialog code you, code. you can use the open file dialog code from here uh, and our the location text box the name of the text box is text box 3 remember that text box 3 and we also inclu include a button here uh, the button uh, uh, button is restore where we click then the uh, the database will restore from the location in my ser database server database name restore here we also take uh, uh, some uh, uh, preferred the code uh, because if we write it will take much time that's why you see the server name textbox1 server uh, database name textbox2 and uh, uh, this is database name everything is okay uh, to see uh, uh, the code I just uh, organized it this is the location text box 3 here is uh, the first of all I drop the database and I will remember that remember that to restore the database you must create the database first not table not a, not anything just create the database where you restore the database you back up just back up select master to re, uh, to drop the database uh, then uh, uh, then create database by selecting master 2 select the database name my first db now you see that there is uh, uh, it show the invalid object name I mean there is no table user info user info table now just uh, select the database uh, where you backed up in D drive uh, you know database name database one the folder name is database one and uh, the database name is 30, my first db 3010 uh, and write the database name I just copied and paste uh, my first DB this is the database name copy and paste just click on the restore database successful restore successful now you see that uh, uh, select my first DB yes now select a start from user info so for, for what we inserted it's a uh, thank you to see this video if you think is helpful please subscribe